Yeah, I'll come back up there and get more points for uh, upgrades. Attack in 2025, Juro Karabe Izumi tries to protect the city by himself but ends up losing. Following Karabe's defeat, Megumi Yakushi, Yakushiji manages to find him in the ruins, but Karabe had already suffered immense brain damage from piloting the Sentinel for two hours straight. He loses consciousness in Yakushiji's arms. Because of this battle, Karabe, Karabe ends up completely losing his memories. That's a lot of stuff to go through. Ah, she needs one more mystery file. All right. doing this sentinel number 17 created to fight against the tripods it's also the robot that bj used to pilot his name is bj he's an alien that came from a highly civilized planet his mission was to protect earth from other evil aliens Agents rumored to deal in the extraordinary and silencing those who witness UFOs. They call them men in black. No one really knows much else. Buddy, you gotta stay quiet if we're gonna keep you hidden. Let's go. Let's go to the gate. I'm almost done with practice. We'll go there after. Sound good? I do feel bad locking you up in here, but I don't know where else to keep you safe. It's like I told you this morning. BJ, but if I left you in my room, my brothers would come in. They'd be able to find you even if you were hiding. Once school's over, I'll help you find what you're looking for. You just gotta be a good boy until then, okay? Gotta stay quiet or those men in black will find you. They really do seem to be everywhere.
I'll come back during break. Just stay quiet until then, okay? So you're gonna be a good little alien, right? That means you gotta stay in there. I'm sorry I have to make you wait. But I'll be back soon. My room... gets raided by my little brothers pretty often. Either way, I can't leave BJ at home. As for the track room, no one goes in there until after school. If I put him in my locker, odds are no one would see him. Oh, not again. Natsuno? Oh, hi. That box on the floor, it's yours, right? Uh... Um... Why? You always put it in your locker. Oh, you saw, huh? What is it, anyways? A clock? Uh... Um, what it is, is... Uh, well... It's a... It's a secret. Oh, I get it. Another silly UFO thingamajig. Whatever. Just put it away before Senpai sees. Oh, boy. She's gone now. Natsuno, find the sentinel. <sighs> we must go to the gate. <sighs> I gotta be careful. This is confidential information, after all. If BJ is about to be seen by someone, I'll just hide him in my PE bag. Crisis averted. If BJ is about to be seen by someone, I'll just hide him in crisis averted. <sighs> you don't have any idea, do you? What would happen if they found you? You'd end up in Area 51, dissected on a table. Just the name he called out. No clue. I see the man in black. A man in black. Show me what's inside your bag. <sighs> Cry <perver. clears throat> Stop! He's still after me. What do I do? Sucks. <gasps> There's one over here, too. What do 
I do? This really sucks. Well, if it isn't Minami. Oh god, Takun. What's up? Secret agents root and silencing them. They call the men in black. I'm being chased by men in black suits. What? What they do? Nothing yet. But if they catch us, who knows? Dissection, maybe. Definitely a full body search. Full body? So those clothes will probably be in the way. Huh? <laughs> you know, that little outfit. Oh my god. Outfit? You mean the spacesuit? Well, yeah. They'd take the whole thing off. I imagine they'll search every nook and cranny. For real? Those lucky mother... I mean, those sick bastards! <laughs> Don't worry. I'll take care of this perv. Huh? Hey! <gasps> you ain't getting away with this asshole! <sighs> what the? Where'd this guy Damn. come from? Damn! Never seen someone go down so easily. He came from over there. Well, that was... something. Crap, he's coming! Blocking the stairs. Someone was just here. Mm. The hell are you doing here? Yuki chan? Good timing. I could really use your help. What now? We've been pursuing a suspicious individual. She's still in the area and she's concealing something. If I just help him out now, maybe old Four Eyes will let me have my way. Fine. It's an SIU assignment anyway, right? That's why I was hired to go undercover in the first place. All you have to do is locate her. Leave the capture to us. So, what does she look like? <gasps> There's no way. Is Yuki-chan working with the men in black? Yuki-chan. Ooh. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, we have to do Yuki's story, but there's an avenue we haven't taken on Minami's. There's several, actually. Uh huh. What's going on? Minami, someone's trashed our room again. Also, watch this. I can't believe my one and only Yuki-chan. She's working with the men in black. That means she can't know. She can't know about BJ. Watch what exactly? Stand over here, quietly. Watch the laundry basket. <sighs> Did you see that, Minami? Crap, this is bad. You know what I think this is? Mm. It's a spy camera from a peeping Tom. <sighs> it's the same creep that trashed this room. He must have set this up.
Actually, this is... Uh... This is mine. Yours? Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's an alarm clock. A clock? <sighs> I gotta be careful. This is confidential information after all. So you just carry it around? Yeah, well, the thing is, I can't seem to tell time unless I look at this clock. Isn't it kinda big? You're going home dressed like that? Uh, yeah, I'm just in a hurry, so... Weird it didn't happen the first time. Okay, we're here. Activate gate. Sentinel search range. Where should we look this time? What's that one at the bottom? Sector 5, 1945. Whoa. So we can travel to the past, too? Hey, that's the year the Pacific War ended. How about Sector 1? Sector 1 has been searched. No Sentinel found. I see. Bomber. What about Sector 2? 2065. We have been there. That's where we saw the tripods. It's too dangerous. What's that one at the bottom? Sector 5. 1945. Whoa. Hey, that's the... Let's check it out. Access code approved. Designating sector. Hmm. Intenshi, thank you so much for giving a sub to Dojo. Dojo, welcome back. is all old and musty in my time but it smells like fresh wood they must have just built the place this all feels like a dream check it out bj it's my school in the past you really can drift back and forth through time can't you not you know i know i know we have to be careful not to change anything in the past. Or else we'll totally screw up the future. If we're 40 years in the past, then Dad's only three years old. He's probably at Grandma's house. I'd love to see that. A quick peek wouldn't hurt, would it? There's something old, Matthew. 
Man, okay. So, is the Sentinel here? I have detected a drone signal. An active Sentinel is present. This is my classroom. The sign looks a little different, though. Someone's here. We've got to hide. Goto-san. Right on time. <gasps> Here's your pill supply for the month. Are these the same ones I had last month? Why do you ask? Please, just be honest with me. The pills you've been giving me, they let me see the future. But these new pills are different. I feel awful when I take them. And they make me forget what I've seen in my dreams. You must continue your treatment. They'll completely eliminate your nightmares. Nightmares? These don't feel like... Trust me. They'll help you revert to your original state. We're putting an end to this operation. Goto-san, please wait! I can't forget. It's our only hope of survival. It's no use. I can't remember. The weapon at Ayame Pass. No, I can't remember anything. Was that Goto-senpai? How's that even possible? How could he be here? Forty years in the past. Maybe it was his grandpa. Looked just like him. A sentinel at Ayami Pass. Huh? The place that woman mentioned. All right, Ayami Pass. Wait, you mean where the park is? There is no park in 1945. Let's go. Thanks, PJ. You're confused? Can you try not to ditch me? Can't believe we're running around in a military base. What if they find us? So this is the Sentinel. It's huge! How does someone lose something so freaking big? The Sentinels are linked to the shifter. It was shifted here. Crazy. Anyhow, I'm just glad we found it. This is Sentinel number 19. Right. You said number 17. Correct. We're searching for Sentinel number 17. Number 19 belonged to a comrade. I cannot pilot his Sentinel. What happened to him? I have confirmed a cease in his vital functions. Do you mean... he's... I don't really know 
what that means. Maybe one of the people here did something to it. That would be impossible with the technology of this era. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow at 0800. <gasps> Someone's coming! Understand? Why is Professor Doji suspending operations? I know the Sentinel like the back of my hand, and I have no problem taking it to the front lines. Even there, I can perform at full power. So, why? Alright, enough. I'm starting to sound like Takatoshi san. Nothing to get riled up over. I'm sure the people in charge have their reasons. Once the order comes, I'll be ready to lay down my life. And even if it never does, I'll still be ready. He's gonna fight too? Dang! Now someone's coming from the other way! <laughs> oh. It's been a while, number 19. Let's have a look at you. Huh. Well, it looks like an alternate route was successfully created. It actually worked. And on my second test subject, no less. Impressive, Keitaro Miura. Nanomachine reconstruction agitates the brain. But you endured the process without losing your mind. With this data, I'll be able to take over the Sentinels. Goodness, I should be on my way. Professor Doji's security detail will return any moment. As promised, I'll remove the lock on the Sentinel. And there's one more thing I'd like to do. Just for good measure. There we go. As long as they come into contact with Miorakun, the data should spread to the others. Who was that guy? They should leave. Let's hurry. Yeah, you're right. We're here, BJ. Someone's coming! Quick, hide! I'm pleased the data is complete. I suppose negotiating with the Professor was the right choice. Huh. The settings have been tampered with. Was someone just here? It seems this gate has been compromised as well. I'll set it back to its original key. I'd best take my leave. Use the gate? Is he an alien too? He changed the key. I can no longer shift. Seriously? We can't go home? Analysis will be complete in 78 hours and 24 minutes. I can't stay here that long. Can't we find another way back to the future? The gate and the sentinel are the only safe methods of shifting. The sentinel? What was that just now? Someone else is coming. It came. 
came from around here, I think. Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe I saw a visiting god. <laughs> Not likely. So much for my first day of time off. It's already night. Shihiro's probably worried about me. State your name. I know you're there. Freeze! Who are you? Well, damn. Yes. Whoa! <laughs> Um... Well? No time like the present, right? Huh? This must be it. Of course, the track room's all the way in the back. Oh. <laughs> Nachan! No way! Yuki-chan? You got tall, Nachan. Your hair's so long, Yuki-chan. I almost didn't recognize you. You're the one who told me to grow it out. Remember? That's right. You stopped writing back to me. I was worried, you know. Yeah, sorry. A lot of things happened after the move. But I just got transferred here. Today's my first day. Really? I knew you went to this school, too. Figured I'd find you eventually. It's good to see your face again. Though, I never took you for a track girl. <laughs> oh, there's so many things I want to talk to you about. Aren't you in the middle of practice right now? I've got to get somewhere, too. But now, we can see each other anytime. Totally. Oh, God. Keep working hard, Nachan. I see that look you on his face. It. Later. See you tomorrow, Yuki-chan. Yuki-chan. So you're finally here. Nachan, my childhood friend. We went our separate ways in middle school, but we still kept writing to each other. She's the only person I really care about. Don't call me that. I don't like being called by my name. But I just heard... I didn't ask your opinion. Shut up. It's fine if it's her. Uh, you remember me, right? I don't know. Who are you again? How about the guy you were destined to meet? More like a random guy I bumped into in the shopping district. Don't get all weird about it. Aw, you're so cruel, Yuki-chan. I said, quit calling me that. Hey, I'm Iguchi. I've been looking for you. Ugh, Nenji Ogata. The hell? Well, well, well. If it isn't Takami of Suzu High. What are you doing on our turf? Not trying to stake a claim, are you? She just transferred here, actually. Some flirty rich kid won't stop following me around. He seems to be close friends with a gang leader at Sakura. 
built up a reputation as a tough guy. All the way back in middle school, actually. Every delinquent around here knows who he is. <laughs> a transfer, huh? You got the wrong uniform on, sweetheart. Oh, look, th that's... It's just because that damn Four Eyes made a mistake. I mean... Obviously. Don't want to go around wearing those girly skirts anyhow. Seems kind of weird if you ask me. A transfer at this time of year? Maybe that's just how it happened for her. Or maybe she's trying to pull some shit. Hey, just lay off already. But why'd she come here of all places? Why here? Well... Found her. Go on, then. I've been waiting for you. You're dismissed. I'd like to speak with her alone. Yuki Takamiya, 16 years old. A first year at Suzugamine Girls High School. Entered a boys' school and engaged multiple delinquents. Twelve of which were sent to the hospital. Your reputation precedes you. You dragged me out of the pen just for this? You're really earning your pay today, aren't you? Well, go on. Rake me over the coals. See if I care. That seems like a waste of time for both of us. Allow me to get to the point. We've taken notice of your particular set of... skills. We'd like to work with you. Seriously? And by that, you mean selling out my friends? I'm not gonna be your stooge, and I don't work with cops. Go find some other sucker. Your father, Heita Takamiya, currently serving a sentence for the murder of a gang member. Yeah? So what? There have been attempts on his life by other inmates. Not surprising, since the man he killed was a gang leader. I imagine it's a matter of reputation for them. Your father has been assaulted twice, but he is alive. For now. <sighs> now, if we were so inclined, it would be quite easy to transfer him to a safer facility. Contingent on your cooperation, of course. God, I hate you already. He's behind bars for stabbing a Yakuza. Maybe he's nothing but a two-bit gangster, but... He's the only real family I have. On to business, then. Are you familiar with Shikishima Industries? Publicly, they manufacture a wide range of products. Rockets, planes, trains, ships, even home appliances. Not so publicly, it seems they're also developing nuclear weapons. We suspect they are colluding with another nation to do so. And what does that have to do with me? We began investigating... ...and found that several miners are connected to these weapons. All of these children are of high school age... ...and are being rounded up at a school affiliated with Shikishima. Shikishima Industries. Shikishima. It's that company with all those commercials for TVs and fridges. So they're making weapons too? So they're using kids to make nuclear weapons? This shit sounds ridiculous. Shikishima Industries. Weapons and children. Alright, so they're making weapons. But what do these kids have to do with it? I'm glad to see I've piqued your interest. Take a look at those documents on the table. It's a list of their names. You bastards got that much dirt on him. Why don't you just bust into Shikishima yourselves? 
We'd prefer not to have this go public. And the less the police are involved, the better. Wait, if you're not the cops, then who the hell are you guys? We are a special investigations unit. Government established and affiliated. Some might call us spies. I am director of the SIU, and your superior. That damn Four Eyes. He says there's some spy agency. It's short for Special Investigations Unit. They may not be cops, but they're honestly all the same to me. I went to Nigakuri to settle a score. And somehow the cops managed to sniff me out. One of those dicks must have snitched. Any of those Kuri boys end up dead. Three had bone fractures, the others just bruises and scrapes. <laughs> That's too bad. Hmm. Got something to say? They're the ones who laid their filthy hands on my friend. All I did was give them what they had coming. None of your damn business anyways. Ugh. Class 1B, Iori Fuyusaka. Class 2A, Renya Goto. More Class 1, Kisaragi, Karabe. <laughs> Class 1C. Natsuno Minami? We need someone to investigate these students. And that someone is you, Yuki Takamiya. Not Chan. But why her? Not Chan, my childhood friend. We went our separate ways in middle school. But we still kept writing to each other. She's the only person I really care about. Who's this? Allow me to introduce you. This is Ryoko Shinonome. She is another undercover investigator, and your superior. Just as she did, you'll be transferring to Sakura High School. We'll handle the paperwork. Hey, pump your brakes, you old man. I haven't agreed to any of this shit yet. They got dirt on you too, Dopey? Is she the one? Yes, she is. Hey, I'm talking to you! She doesn't look like she knows much. <laughs> I can already tell I'm not gonna like you. <sighs> you have quite the abrasive personality. We're not finished. Do you accept your assignment? I don't give a shit about your assignment. Well then. I think it's safe to say we're not getting through to her. Don't worry. She will work with us. It's her destiny, after all. No sign of her today, either. Where are you, Nachan? Still stalking? Hey, you. Got a sec? You're in class 1C. That right? Yes.
Natsunomi Nami's in your class, isn't she? Oh, <gasps> I kept yeah. her from Juro. She's been out for three days now. Have you heard anything? The teacher just said she was out sick. Did they hear from her directly? I don't know. <clears throat> Sorry for bothering you. Miwa-chan, <laughs> uh, chan any news? Um, do you need something? Oh, mm. no, never mind. No. Miwa-chan, chan any news? I kind of want to listen. that the school seems to know anything. Mm, I hope Natsuno-chan's okay. <sighs> what should we do? Stop by Natsuno-chan's house again? Those weird guys might still be there, though. <sighs> hey, you! <sighs> Got a sec? I heard you talking about Natsuno Minami. Who are you? Oh my god, Shinonome. That's beside the point. I want to know what's going on with Natsuno. Why hasn't she been coming to school? It sounds like she hasn't been at home either. We went to her house yesterday, but her mom just kept apologizing over the intercom. The police were there too. Were they really the police though? <sighs> well, that's worrying. Thanks for letting me know. Nachon Nachon hasn't been at home either. Sorry, that I and those you cops. Waiting. It's okay. Or whatever Let's they are. Going. What were they doing there? <sighs> what are you doing? What's your problem? You remember your orders, don't you? You're supposed to keep a low profile. Hmm, huh, I can't recall. Maybe you've forgotten about your father, too. What did you say? <laughs> One more thing. Don't go looking for Natsuno Minami. What? Those guys they thought were the police. They're agents with the SIU. In any case, Natsuno Minami isn't your concern. She's a part of my assignment. So stay out of my way. Are we clear? Hey! Hold on! Girl, you are about to get your ass kicked. What could have happened to Nachan? I bet that four-eyed bastard has some answers. Time to do what I do best. This is unacceptable. I thought I made it clear that you are not to contact me. I need to know what happened to Natsuno Minami. And I know you have answers. Teenagers run away from home all the time. That's what the police say, but the school insists she's out sick. Looks like nobody can get their story straight. So which is it, huh? I'm not an idiot, We're you know. thinking the same thing, Knight. Your suspicions are not unfounded. But our investigation is still ongoing. I don't have a clear answer myself. We don't know where she is, or even if she's still alive. The evidence so far points to kidnapping. Who the hell would want to kidnap her? Shikishima? They could have done it without anyone realizing she was gone. There'd be no need to draw such attention to themselves. No. Someone else is behind this. And that's who Shinonome is looking for? <laughs> Someone at the school could be behind this. It's possible they are there even now. In any case, the situation is dangerous. I suggest you keep your nose out of it. Shinonome-kun has this under control. 
As for you, Takamiya-kun, you will continue to monitor the other students as instructed. Have I made myself clear? <laughs> Screw that. So, yeah. Yeah, the SIU director, I'm thinking he's fluffy. I mean, all we have to go on is the voice, but we need to see more from the future in order to know how and why he's the SIU director. Cool. Okay. What to do? Hey, C. Can't go wrong with apple juice. Me and Nachan used to drink it all the time when we were kids. There you are. I've been looking for you. Of course you have. <sighs> mm. Don't you have anything better to do? Takamiya-san, you are the Holmes. And I am the Watson, Erica Aiba, at your service. Please, call me Erica. I will do my best <gasps> to assist you in solving you. mysteries. How would you like to start? We keep seeing you. This place is a dump. Are you upset with me? <sighs> Just been antsy without my cigarettes. I met Aiba while I was trying to find out more about Nachan. Seems she likes me. Follows me around like a damn puppy dog. Even my steeliest glare doesn't faze her. Frickin' weirdo. <laughs> Shikishima. It's that company with all those commercials for TVs and fridges. So they're making weapons too? That damn four eyes. He says there's some spy agency. It's short for Special Investigations Unit. They may not be cops, but they're honestly all the same to me. Nachon, my childhood friend. We went our separate ways in middle school, but we still kept writing to each other. She's the only person I really care about. It's been several days since Minami-san has gone missing. She isn't sick, contrary to what her teacher says. And she didn't run away, contrary to the rumor that's been going around. It seems likely she was involved in something much more sinister. The wind feels nice. Been keeping this place all to yourself, huh? So, what should we do? Conduct interviews? <laughs> I love mystery novels. I've always wanted to be a detective, too. <sighs> I'm not playing pretend, you know. Uh, yes, of course. I am merely your capable assistant. Huh? Well, at least I'll try to be. What should we look into first? Maybe he's not just a dumb pretty boy after all. And then again, he did ball this up and leave it on the ground. Yup, still an idiot. Some flirty rich kid who won't stop following me around. He seems to be close friends with a gang leader at Sakura.
Yeah, low key, this is on a uh, PS4 only. Exclusive. <laughs> oh my God, Megami, stop. Get some help. Natsunomi Nami still out, huh? Seems like it. Did you notice anything strange about her? Before she started taking days off, I mean. Well, I haven't really thought about it. But now that you mention it, I noticed she was always hurrying to the track room at break. Even during class, she seemed to always be a bit anxious. The track room, huh? else you noticed about Natsunomi Nami huh. I did see her fervently scribbling something in her notebook and it didn't seem like it was just notes on the lecture mm -hmm. Nachan was writing things in this notebook things that had nothing to do with her classes could it have something to do with her disappearance? Possibly. She was in the track room even during break. What was Nachan doing? That damn f he says there's Was there something else? Huh? She was... She's a name on the list in Four Eyes' file. Her name... It was Yakushiji. She's pretty dull, actually. <laughs> no, she's yonder as fuck. Was there something else? Interviewing. <laughs> hmm. The word has such a nice ring to it, doesn't it? All right, Watson. Can I help you? No. This girl. She's a name on the list in Four Eyes's file. Yuri Fuyusaka. You're the one next to her, in the red glasses. Her, too. Tomi... Kisaragi, I think? Have a minute. I got some things to ask you. Now you. You've been going to Natsunomi Nami's house, yeah? Any news since? seen one in real life oh wow uh is your friend okay Year. 
and captain of the track team. Well, excuse me, Miss Captain. Did you need something? I wanted to ask you about Natsunomi Nami. She skipped out on our last few training sessions. But I guess she's out sick? Did she look sick to you? She looked fine to me. Right? <sighs> yep. I thought so too. I think it was after that one incident. That's when Minami-san started skipping training. And school too, I guess. What incident? There was a fire in the North Building. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's unrelated. But... Right around the time of that fire, Nachan started skipping her training sessions for track. Could it be related? A fire? In the North Building? Yeah. I heard an explosion started it. Really? I heard it was arson. Right around the time of that... Hello! Hello. Natsunomi Nami is too, right? Did you notice anything strange about her? Besides her being absent from school. Well, depends what you define as strange, but... Natsuno did stop coming to training. But I'd still see her in the locker room. Doing what? It seemed like she was there to get something. Something like... Some kind of UFO-looking thing? I don't know exactly. It just looked like a box when it was in her bag. A box in the locker room, huh? Yeah. You on the track team? Yes. I was supposed to ask that first. Okay. You know anything about the fire in the North Building? No. Something that the girl on the track team mentioned. She said Nachon went into the locker room to get a box. And described it as some kind of UFO gadget. Hmm. building no I'm sorry I don't know anything I can see it clearly now the primary suspect I am certain their intentions were not pure you've been reading too many murder mysteries Erica Authorized personnel only? It's just a damn locker room. <laughs> Can't get in the locker room as long as that ditz is around. Guess I have no choice. I gotta ask for her help. Yo, Iba. I want to take a look around the track room. But that goody two-shoes over there keeps stopping me. Uh, you want me to be a decoy? What, you don't want to do it? Oh, good heavens! You and I are partners, Takamiya-san. I shall not let you down. Yeah, okay. Just hold her attention until I get inside the room. Wait for me out here when you're done. I 
beg your pardon. Oh, yeah? I would like to inquire about Minami-san. You too? Oh, was there someone else? Well, yeah. <laughs> Good shit, Erica. Hmm. Tiny nameplates. Nachans. Found it. This must be that notebook. The one that girl in Nachan's class was talking about. She said she saw her fervently scribbling into it. What follows is an investigative record of important moments in time and space. I have finally encountered my destiny. He has arrived from outer space. An actual extraterrestrial being! In summary, whoa. Aliens really do exist. An extraterrestrial being? Did Nachan make all this up? Or is it possible she really was abducted by aliens? What follows is an investig... These advanced life forms have managed to conquer time and space itself. Who could have dreamed that their technology had such capability? An actual gateway to time travel, right in Tokisaka Shrine! Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe Nachan went there. Either way, it's definitely a clue. Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe Nachan went. Either way, it's. What follows is an. He says he's looking for a robot. It's called Sentinel Number 17. Writing inside of it seems to enable him to fight against evil aliens. A robot. Could this be what Four Eyes was talking about? Is this the weapon Shikishima is developing? Hmm. Tiny Nacha. Nothing I haven't already looked at. Huh? I thought you were supposed to be distracting that girl. She was called over by her senpai. So, off she went. Ugh. Right around the time of that Nachan. You heard anything about that fire and- No, I don't know it. I thought I told you to wait outside. I can't do that. The locker room of the athletics building. Just think of the drama that unfolds here. Takamiya, with the SIU. I assume you've heard about me. So you're the student on the inside. So you're not here to supervise me? What's the deal then? We receive new intel. Confidential information from Shikishima was brought here. About those weapons? Cram it, will you? Just ignore me. Worry about your own mission. Hey. Don't talk to me. Oh, that's why you were dicks.
not exactly what I said, but okay. Can I help you? No. She was one of them. She's a name Yuri. You're the one next to her in the red glasses. Mega me, you need a new hobby. Have a minute. I got some things to ask you. Huh? This girl. She's a name on the list in Four Eyes' file. Her name... It was Yakushiji. She's pretty dull, actually. What? That fire in the North Building. Know anything about that? I heard a teacher talking about it. They said it was caused by a delinquent smoking cigarettes. It wasn't you, was it? Hey, I laid off the cigs after I transferred here. Which means I'm not getting my nicotine fix. Which means you better watch yourself. <laughs> a delinquent smoking cigarettes. There's only one of those lame asses here. Enji Ogata. Well, we just watched Ninji walk the other way, so we know where he's going. He's a tough guy. All the way back in middle school, actually. Every delinquent around here knows who he is. Why are you afraid? I think it may be ill-advised to associate with hoodlums. <laughs> well, thank you, Erica. I'll take it into consideration. Ogata. Why are you here? It's a public roof, ain't it? I said, why are you here? Just checking if my handkerchief was dry yet. That handkerchief was yours? Yeah. So what? <laughs> I thought it was a girl's. <laughs> so about Notch... I mean, Minami. What are you getting embarrassed for? You've called her that since you were kids, right? Right. So... Nachan, you know she's gone missing? Yeah, I do know. I suspect the black suits have something to do with that. I heard there was a fire in the North Building. I also heard that it was caused by a certain cigarette-smoking delinquent. You trying to accuse me of something? First of all, I don't smoke. Second of all, the fire was in the girls' bathroom. And rumor has it, it wasn't even really a fire. Something happened in the girls' bathroom of the North Building. Something... Why do you say that? I saw Minami being chased by them one time. You what? What the hell is going on? Tim Four Eyes never mentioned that little detail. I also heard rumors about some kid in middle school. I guess he's been looking for her too. Something fishy's going on. But it's getting complicated. I can't keep up. <clears throat> the agent on Nachan's case. Shino no me. Do I have to ask her for help after all? I mean, she is pretty messed up too. <sighs> 
Have I answered enough of your questions yet? Get lost. So this is Ogata's handkerchief. I want to take a look for myself. Let's go to that girl's bathroom in the North Building. Certainly. Holy shit. Are you seeing this? There's no way all this was from a fire. Not one burn mark in sight. Seems more like a bear went on a rampage. We are not allowed to be in here. Oh, we'll get in so much trouble if they find us. What is wrong with you? <laughs> she is excited. Feels like we're actual detectives now. Judging from this level of destruction, I deduce that the perpetrator was someone with an extreme hatred for girls' bathrooms. Uh. Constructed a criminal profile. Hmm. Oh, Our suspect Erica. is a maintenance lady built like a bear. What do you think? Mm. This isn't how I expected a crime scene to look. In mystery novels, the perpetrator's name is always written somewhere in blood. Yeah, when there's a dead body nearby. You really are strange. Too strange. Cryon, so far it's been really, really good. These scratch marks, they're carved pretty deep in there. There's signs of damage all over the place. This can't have been the work of just one person. Someone's eyeglass frames. They're red. Probably belong to a girl. Mm-hmm. Any ideas? Who do you think these glasses belong to? Well, the glasses are broken, so they won't be wearing them anymore. Do you remember anyone wearing a pair like that? We sure do. Now that I think about it, yeah, I do remember someone. Nachan's friend in class 1B. And a name on Four Eyes' list. Tomi Kisaragi. Man, we're gonna have to do her story next? Tomi Kisaragi. I think I saw her in the class one hallway just now. I gotta find her. Oh. Maybe whoever those glasses belong to knows something. Oh, wait for me. She was somewhere around here before. Here either. <sighs> hey. Hmm. Yeah. Glasses. Girls bathroom. You went to the girls' bathroom in the North Building, that right? What happened there? Oh, what's with all the questions, anyways? I know you were there. Are you talking about what happened in the North Building? I had nothing to do with it. Why would I go all the way there to use the bathroom anyways? Uh, RTS. Yeah, it's kind of RTS, Cryon. Are these your glasses? What's this all about? 
Go ahead. Take a closer look. Well, they do look the same as mine. But you probably noticed. I'm wearing mine right now. So obviously they can't be mine. Hmm. All right, listen up. These glasses were found on the floor of the bathroom. And you're the only one in this whole damn school that wears glasses as distinctive as these. So you're blaming me? What could I possibly gain from setting a toilet on fire? Fire? You're not messing with me, are you? Actually... Miwako? Yeah? I saw her. The day of the incident. Usami-chan was in the North Building. But, Miwako, <gasps> what the hell? But I really did see you there. I saw Natsuno-chan there too. Wait, what? Making them wait for me. I should hurry up and get these to the art room. <sighs> oh, Natsuno chan, Miwako! Aren't you supposed to be at training? Where are you off to in such a hurry? Where isn't really the. <sighs> Sorry, Miwako! What was that about? Hmm? <gasps> Usami chan? What happened to your leg? Did you hurt yourself? Mm. She ignored me? That's not like Usami-chan. <sighs> I've never even seen that place! Seriously, Miwako? But... I... What's going on? Yuri-chan! So, I was saying... But that can't be right. No, it's true! I really did see them! That's the day we were waiting for you outside. And Usami-chan was with me the whole time. At the front gate, remember? Uh, that's right! But what about Nachan? I, I mean... How did Natsuno Minami look? Hmm... She was in a hurry. She had her bag. Oh, yeah! On my way back from delivering the copies, I saw another girl. But she was covered in dust. It was really weird. And now that I think about it, she was coming from where the bathroom was. Who was it? Hmm. Well, she looked mild-mannered. Mild and I know I've seen her face around here before, but I don't know which year or class. What's wrong? Oh, it's just that I think... I think I forgot something. I'm gonna go get it now. Skerica? I don't like all this. So two Tomi Kisaragis. A girl covered in dust. What in the hell happened? In the girl's bathroom. <laughs> 